Well, one thing that a lot of people don't realize is, is when our children are abused, whether it's sexually, physically, emotionally, those scars stay with children, in essence, sometimes for a lifetime. And then it manifests itself in underperforming children in, in school. They, they potentially act, act out and may get involved uh, with law enforcement and, and other problems. And then they lose hope in their life. You know, <laughs> I think back now and again, uh, she destroyed me, period, emotionally. She, she really, she took the me out of me. I think it's, it's a struggle for children, and I think it goes on through most of their lives for many of them, especially if they don't get treatment. But many children um, you know, go down a path, or, or adults go down a path of drug abuse, alcohol abuse, um, promiscuity, prostitution. Um, it runs the gamut. You can act in or you can act out. Um, and so it's, it's a real, there are real, real, real life-threatening consequences from being a victim of sexual assault. I ended up rebelling. I would fight everybody. I was always angry. I was a very, very angry person. And that led me to go to juvenile. One of the things I do struggle with all the time is weight. Um, there was a time about 15 or so years ago that I actually lost a lot of weight and got down to close to what the weight charts say my weight should be. Um, and it was terrifying because you know, once the weight was off, people started being more flirtatious towards me. I started seeing myself as more of a sexual being and immediately the weight came back on. So you know, the, there are things that you constantly deal with. The cost, not only to the victim, but the families is so great. It's not just the victim who suffers um, while they do suffer the greatest amount. You know, there's other siblings, parents, who now have to go down a spiral of, did I do enough? Why wasn't I there? When Anthony realized that this had such an effect on his life, it affected me in a way that I did a terrible job as a mother in that area. And that's something that it's just hard to accept. I, I'm sorry that I trusted her the way I did, and I'm sorry that I didn't know more. And when you're seeking to recover from the sexual abuse, what you're trying to do is get your ability to trust back. 